What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk about SoFi. I want to go over and give you a good summary of everything you need to know, such as why it went up as much as it did today, go over some updated data points, very relevant to a lot of investors, and talk on the CPI data that is coming out tomorrow and how that could affect SoFi. And at the end, I'll tie it all together with some technical analysis. But before I get into any of that, you guys know the deal. Smash your thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships, link in the description below, or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. Greatly appreciate that. With that, let's get right to it. So as you can see on the intraday chart, started out a little bit more mixed and then it bounced with the broader market, largely because of this, so the bond yields. And if you do not know, in theory, when bond yields do essentially go down, that means the underlying asset is going up again insinuating that there is going to be more interest rate hikes coming from the feds but lately as of right now things have been starting to go up a little bit as far as the bond yield so that is very positive again insinuating that hopefully the feds will not be increasing interest rates so that is one thing as far as what caused it to bounce as much as it did in addition to a lot of good tech earnings and that has been coming out for the last little bit just unfortunately the guidance on a lot of these earnings have been really killing a lot of their growth and taking away from the actual good earnings so that definitely is kind of factoring into that as well and like i mentioned as well core cpi data is coming out tomorrow i do want to talk on that and how that actually will affect sofi because at the end of the day you can see the core cpi is at 5.9 CPI is at 7.3. So at the end of the day, if in theory it is below that 7.3, then we are going to bounce back very, very fast. So very similarly to a day like this, whereas on the contrary, if we actually are above the 7.3 forecast, then most likely we are going to be dipping down quite hard because CPI is a very good indicator of inflation, which again ties back into the feds. The feds are hypothetically increasing interest rates to combat and to fight against inflation. So as you can tell, a lot of these growth stocks are really fearful of interest rate hikes. So that is definitely something for you to keep in mind. But like I said, I do anticipate it to be well below the 7.3 more so at the high sixes. So that definitely will cause SoFi to have a massive rally. And like I said, I do want to give you a good summary of everything you need to know as far as data points. So right now, the short interest on SoFi is at 21%, so 20.73, up roughly about 24% from one week prior. Utilization is 92.8%. 87 day by day change it actually did go down though 0.12 which works out to be 161,000 shares being returned and all this information is available via ortex i do have a link to them in the description below for you to take a look at as far as the cost to borrow it is only at one percent so that is relatively low but a fairly high short interest so that definitely is a lot of factors for a lot of us to watch for whether it's going to be a squeeze potential or whatever it might be in addition to the options activity. So options activity today was a big deal. $519,000 worth of options today with 100% of them being positive. That is huge. Even yesterday, 43% of them were positive. And overall, all last week, 84% of all of them were positive. So it's been like this for quite some time. There's a huge anticipation when it comes to SoFi. And I just want to show you this more so on a grand scheme of things, just to show you exactly how much undervalued we are. And at a significant discount, look at this. We went from 24 to 12 in a matter of roughly about four months. That is a big deal. So at the end of the day, this is why a lot of institutions are backing up the bus. And you can tell based on the live ticker to my left, it was up 6% today, 7.5 million shares being purchased by institutions today alone. And you can tell that based on the block volume column. So definitely a lot of big things coming. And as far as the new round of 13 Fs that are coming down the pipeline, a lot of institutions are still maintaining, if not adding to their position. So you can see asset management increasing their position 3,700%. So there is a lot of institutions realizing that this is a significant discount and backing up the bus. Keep in mind, all this information is delayed. It is via the 13F on obviously that's done within the three month time period. It's not up to date information. And this is why I show you the block volume column because that is as of today. So 7.5 million shares being purchased by institutions today, but unfortunately we don't know who. So that's one thing that you kind of have to work with. In addition to that, they do have something that came out today. Very big news as far as their new brand campaign. Break up with your bad banking 
everything and move on with SoFi. So that definitely is something that I really do like. And it just shows that they are committing to their new charter exactly and looking for new clients. That is one thing that they will definitely do very well. So more so looking at their upcoming earnings, especially more so their guidance, I do feel that is going to be the biggest thing for SoFi. With all that, just want to tie it all together with some technical analysis. So right now at the 5100, 200 day moving averages, boiling bands, our size stochastic momentum. So right now you can see momentum actually has been dipping, showing that the number of buyers have actually been going down. And stochastic, you can see there is a little bit of a deviation. So black line above the red, showing a bullish sentiment in that regard. Our size currently at 48, so that is fairly neutral. On the actual chart, this is the exciting stuff. So we are transitioning from the lower to the higher percentile of the Boilinger band, and we are definitely doing that. So if we can close above that tomorrow, which again, tying back into the CPI data, if we can actually do good on the CPI data, then we are going to be in the clear. We're going to be in the higher percentile of the boiling band, and that in itself is going to be a very bullish sentiment. And as well, like I mentioned, there is going to be a very pivotal thing. So 1315, that is something to watch for. We have to close above that in order to confirm a upward trend. And again, that does more coincide with the transition from the lower to the higher percentile of the boiling band in that regard ish. So with that, let me know your thoughts on SoFi in the comments below. If you haven't already, smash the thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Greatly appreciate that. If you do like my channel, want to support the growth, take a look at my memberships, link in the description below, or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With all that, let's all make a lot of money on SoFi.